Good morning and welcome to this video. Adam and my dad are talking if you can hear them, but I'm having a little cuddle with Jeff because today me, Mum and Adam are off to Lincoln Castle. So I'll take you along with me while we go and explore that. But Jeff, you can't come today, mate. You can have a rest. Yeah, does that sound like a good idea, buddy? Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, that's where we're going today. It should be good fun. I haven't been to a castle in a very long time. And as you may have gathered, my brother's quite into history, so it's always fun to go to these things with him. So he can read things and then tell me about it. Catch you at the castle. <laughs> It's more like a wedding venue to me. It would make quite a nice wedding venue, wouldn't it? Mm. It's intended to be a court. Criminal. 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 Send them to there? No, I don't think so. I think, I think that comes after that. Oh. I'm not totally sure yet. Well, there's, a, there's another little round thing that you can go and read again if you want. Mm, the same thing, isn't it? building in the world for nearly 300 years. Uh, it would have been the tallest building in the world for nearly 400 years until the Eiffel Tower was built, except the big spire at the top fell off during an earthquake. Oh, unlucky Lincoln. <laughs> unlucky Lincoln. Drawing a big love heart. Maybe they love someone. Why are the red arrows here? That's the other question. I can't mm. actually see it other than sky, I think, in this. I think they're coming back. There's a moon. Mm. One's over there. So we're now back from Lincoln Castle. Um, it was a really nice day trip actually. I've never been to Lincoln. Uh, didn't really know what the castle was going to be like, um, but saw it, saw it was open, saw it wasn't too expensive, and thought, why not give it a go? As I said earlier, I haven't actually been to a castle for a very long time. We, or I paid for the day ticket, which we had to book in advance because of the whole COVID thing and that got us into the Magna Carta bit which was a little bit pants because the Magna Carta is a piece of paper with very faded words on it and there was obviously a bit more within that room but we couldn't go through to it because it was a bit closed and they obviously thought you couldn't social distance in that room and um, they did have some videos to go with it which were entertaining to say the least there's a lot of extreme close-ups at Lincoln Castle in their videos and some very hammy acting in some of the Magna Carta videos. So it got us into that and then next we went into the Victorian prison which I really enjoyed actually. Um, I think they did it very well considering they obviously had to turn off some of their interactive tables and take away their dressing up but other than that I don't feel like we actually missed out on anything. They still had cells open for you to go in and like videos that were projected onto the walls tell you about some of the inmates that they had there including a guy that escaped twice from the prison once by making a key by using like bread and stuff it was all rather oh there's a butterfly 
it was all rather I just like dug them when it oh squirrel um yeah it was all rather elaborate the way he got out and you went into the chapel and they've the whole point of the Victorian prison is that everybody's segregated you don't see anyone I think a lot of people went a bit nutty I think Pentonville was like that and people went a bit mad. Lincoln was more of a holding prison before they got shipped somewhere else so I don't know what effect it had there but even in the chapel where they had to go for prayers every day they had little segregated booths so each uh, inmate would have to go and sit in their own booth and they couldn't see anyone else but it was really creepy because they put really like mannequins they put mannequins in some of the sections and that freaks me out. Mannequins freak me out a little bit anyway but those ones certainly did because obviously you walk in everything's really high so you can't see anything and then you go up and then there's all these heads you're like whoa what is that? So that was a bit bit weird. From the Victorian prison we then went up the medieval walls which is where most of the clips are from because you couldn't film in the Magna Carta bit or the prison bit. I mean I probably could have filmed in the prison bit if I wanted to there was no one to stop me very much it was a reliant on the people visiting the Victorian prison to maintain distance and stuff and again on the walls there's a one-way system around all of it but you did just have to wait until the party in front of you moved which in our case took a while because the people in front of us obviously were having a lovely time looking at the view but then that made a, a bottleneck of a queue behind us because we had to wait for them so they had to wait for us etc etc but yeah so we went on the walls and got some good views over over Lincoln and the uh, the red arrows I don't know how well the clips came out because they were going into rather dark clouds but the red arrows seemed to come out and I guess they were practicing I think they have their air base near here or near Lincoln should I say so they uh, they came out and had a practice so we stood and watched them for quite a while it was interesting actually to see some of their uh, formations weren't quite on point so I guess that's why they practice and then we I didn't film this bit but then we had a little wander around to the Lincoln Cathedral and walked around that and looked at some of the shops we also went to uh, Steep Hill which the name says what it is on the tin it is a very steep hill we probably walked about halfway down and thought why are we doing this because we're just gonna have to walk back up again but yeah so it was a good day um adam has given his opinions on it i filmed him in the car so here's him i very much enjoyed lincoln castle i liked the prison there were lots of interesting stories i thought the one about the uh seven year old boy who was locked up for setting fire to a a hay bale and then ended up dying of prison fever that was a quite a good one i didn't know you could get tuberculosis in your hip you can get it anywhere it was it's a yeah it's pretty vicious i don't understand that either um because it's a virus isn't it is it i don't know yeah but yeah that was really good and then going around the castle and the walls and watching the red arrows and then the weird godswood bit that's cool yeah. and then yeah saw the cathedral it's very dirty, we're giving it a scrub. I saw a steep hill and went, eh, eh too steep. <laughs> uh, yeah, I liked it. Lincoln's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like for Lincoln Castle you can just walk in the grounds and sit on the grass and stuff. They do also have a uh, working crown court, which was kind of interesting. The building that I thought looked like a wedding venue is actually a courthouse and still has trials. I assume you can probably go in. I assume there's a public gallery because I think most courthouses have to have them. Or courts, should I say. They're not really courthouses anymore, are they? But I don't know if you can go in that one or not. It certainly says we are not part of the Lincoln Castle tour. Please don't just wander in kind of thing. But yeah, it was a good day out. It was a nice, nice change. Obviously, there's not huge amounts we can do due to Covid at the moment but I think they I think they worked it all out quite well at Lincoln Castle um, and on that note I'm going to end this video here if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye